Topic 7. Scalars and Vectors. Part 1. Vectors have magnitude. How big they are. Small, medium, big. And direction. Which direction is it? Is it this way? This direction or some other direction? Scalars have magnitude only with no direction. Some examples of scalars and vectors. These physical quantities have magnitude only, in other words, only have value, but no direction. Whereas these physical quantities have magnitude or value or size, as well as direction. Addition of scalars. First example is 14 seconds plus 26 seconds equal to 40 seconds. Second one, 6.3 meters plus 8.4 meters equal to 14.7 meters. Now, addition of vectors this time. First one, walking 50 meters east and then walking at further 80 meters east. The final position is 130 meters east. Second one, walking 50 meters east, then 80 meters west this time, the overall position is 30 meters west. Third one, 60 newton force to the right, and then 100 newton force to the left, the overall is 40 newton force to the left. Addition of vectors in two dimensions. The example we've got here is to do with displacement vectors. Now a person is walking 100 meters east, he started from here and then end up there, then he walks 60 meters north and his final displacement is represented by this resultant vector. This is to be drawn to scale. So when you answer a question like this, you must first of all indicate where your north is. This is your north. Also, tell the examiner what scale you use. So you can draw this triangle to scale. Once you've completed this triangle, you measure the distance there, convert it back to the actual distance. And the answer should be 170 meters at 31 degrees, this one, 31 degrees, north of east. Here's east, north of east. Note, for IGCSE exam, diagrams are to be drawn to scale. Second example, we are adding two forces using vectors. We have these forces, these two forces, putting on this object, and you are asked to find the resultant force. First of all, you are to draw the scale and therefore you have to set your scale. One centimeter to how many newtons? Make sure the diagram is not too small. The bigger the better, in fact. So, you start off by drawing the, the easiest one. This is the easier one to draw because it's horizontal. So draw that one first to scale and then draw this one here by continuing on just as you did with displacement vectors make sure the angle there is 45 it's 45 here then this vector here represents the resultant force so measure how long it is convert it back to newtons it will give you the magnitude how big the force is then for x direction make sure you measure this angle here so the final answer is the resultant force equal to 8.3 newtons. This is how long that vector is. At an angle of 20, 20 degrees to 5 newton force. In other words, making an angle of 20 degrees with this force here. An important rule about adding vectors, you are to add vectors head to tail tip to toe. 
this is a triangle method. First of all, this is a wrong method because these two vectors are added tail to tail here. Whereas in this case, it's head to tail. So when you draw vectors, you just keep going like this. You start from there, draw this one. Next one, you just keep going. If there's a third one, just start from here again, keep going.